12-4-23. What song? It's not out yet, but it's a preview. Let the people know, man. Oh, um, I just recorded this like a week ago. Um, since we here at the at the pad at the lab, you know, I thought it'd be a good time to preview it. Why you act in the rest east of the west end? If I meet it somewhere on there, I'm like, oh, baby. Tell them niggas go back a second, revise the edit. The beat raps, I can't credit niggas. Get on that crack. We did like three songs, so it was like, why it was number three. We did like three songs. Man, though. that bitch jam, like, who did the production? I was just a beat I got on yeah, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Dope, dope, man. Backstreets okay. with Cole, man. He out here showing that D was. <laughs> man. I wouldn't expect it, man. All the way from the H Town to the motherfucking Denver, man. We here in the Maha, bro. But you gotta let everybody know who you is, where you from, and whatever you got coming. Yo, D was with a Z, 2G. Um, I'm from here, I'm from Denver. Um, shit. If you want something pretty certified, you know, go check out my like Been There music video uh -huh. or uh, Skywalker 2G. That's probably like the latest and greatest from me. Um, What's well, been up since we last chopped it up, man? I know yeah, last I time it was virtual. Right? Yeah, yeah, man, it's been a minute, but. We back in the flesh, man. What's been up? You said you did a fashion show too or something like that? Yeah, um, a few fashion shows. I've been modeling in like Pueblo and just starting to get some some gigs going on in Denver. You know, uh, the homie brand, my high man, I was able to come vlog it. Yo, if that that's another one, you guys could go see the fashion show. It's on my YouTube, the whole vlog. It's like 20 minutes. Um, yeah, and that shit was lit. I got to perform. You know, so some good exposure and stuff. What good was it like? Times. What was it like be doing a show and the music together? Um. Well, the clothes. So, I, I, it was cool because I got to use two outfits. So if you're walking in the show, you're probably wearing one outfit, maybe two if you got picked by another designer. Mm. But um, I didn't. I only had one designer, so I got to walk and then go switch the outfit, which is cool because I got to wear something and then do the little performance after my walk. So it was uh it was nice, you know, I get to everyone get to see my face twice, you know. Man, for real, yeah. for shit show man. Skywalker two G talk about it a little bit. Yeah, okay. Skywalker two G, um I recorded here. Um on the song it's like a it got like a Star Wars sample on the on the beat. And then um, Y'all can talk in the background. The, uh, y'all gotta be super quiet. <laughs> oh, y'all listen. Oh, y'all on my bad. Cause I'm like, cause I'm like, I don't want y'all to be super quiet. Okay. I done took over. I actually appreciate the quietness. But, uh, uh, Scott, the, the idea of the song is, you know, there was a time when I was like super depressed and shit, like late teen years, early 20s, and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, <laughs> and then um, this is the whole idea of the song was uh, like, you know, I get high, I smoke weed, you know, I do mushrooms and acid and stuff like that. So like, it's really like how I kind of did these psychedelic drugs and it shifts the whole perspective on things and kind of, you know, brought, you know, a new light to uh, my mind and, uh, mood you know so it's like how does it um i used to hate this life so i used to walk on the sky remember a time when i wanted to die but i'm still here and alive and i still walk on the sky i still walk on the sky so yeah that's what that means yeah yeah, oh, yeah. ben backstreet shit for the people that don't know how did you come up with your name um d woods 2g uh, my name's Devonte, and my last name's Woods, and uh, I always wanted something catchy, like Lil Wayne and Louise F. Baby and shit, like something I could play off of, like with my name and in words and rap. So I was like, you know, two G, too great. Um, 
I had like this group of friends, Jihad Gang, that was like what we all rapped by as a collective for a while. So it was almost like I'm D Woods to Jihad Gang. Mm. Or it's two G, so I'm D Woods, Jihad Gang. And but that was you know, that was one meaning. So it was just something cool I could play off of really. Oh, but it's still my name, so it's still, you know, it's me. I feel like but, do you got a favorite uh weed strand? Like you got a favorite strand? The platinum cookies, at okay. least, at least where I go in Denver, the platinum <laughs> cookies. Say it like, yeah. Fire. Yeah, that's pretty good. Where y'all get it at? Cause <laughs> platinum cookies. Okay, where you buy it? At? In the dispensary habit, or you gotta go, go to certain? I go to Denko. Okay. Y'all got some free promotion out of me. So, uh, uh, out okay. Denko's fire. <laughs> yeah. What am I smoking on right now? I got some London pound cake. Okay. From that same dispensary. It's pretty gas. That must be your favorite one. You done gave him a shout out and everything. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. What's some advice that you can give to the artists in Denver? Uh, work together, and um, no unity I think, here. I think I think for yeah. not in Denver. I, it's starting. It's okay. starting to happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think I think every year more and more people are working together. Mm. But um, he said he not Denver. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Also, I feel like people shouldn't be so uh, money driven because uh, like uh, a lot of us are out here on the same level, on the same playing field, you know, there's no need to like charge someone a crazy amount of dollars and you guys are on the same, you know, mm, like they artists thing, be charging know? for features and shit like that. It, it, like working together and then like not being money driven. I feel like that's where everyone could really just start creating, start collabing and start like doing that free freely because there's not like a money thing driven and it's like okay what are we what can we really do you know there's no feelings because money everyone attaches their feelings with money and so without the money you can take your feelings out of it but, wow uh, for real yeah do you do a lot of uh, collabs with artists in the city or not really not really i try to like um you know i've collabed with uh like the people that I work with, like if you see me working with someone, I probably got a song with them. Yeah. Mm, I feel that. I feel that. What's next for the whole brand? Like, what else you got coming up for the next year? Um, I have a few things lined up, and I really want to just focus on, you know, having like the best videos, and like having like some real good visuals. I've been working on like my director tip lately so like like the been there video you go watch that you'll see exactly what i'm talking about but like um yeah just trying to make something visually because my music ain't like nobody else's so along with that to have the video that's not gonna be like nobody else's is essentially like the goal and so that's what i'm i'm working on right now that's uh coming up so you say your sound not like nobody else so how would you describe your sound well I feel like I'm much, how would I say it? Cause if I were to say like alternative rap, that's so many different lanes. Right. But it's like, it's almost like hood grunge, but it's not, it's like, cause I do a different, a few different pockets. So like you could compare my sounds to like an Uzi or compare my sounds to like a Wiz Khalifa because I kind of got like some throwbacks sometimes. Like the song you just heard, that's like Mad Wayne influence. Mm. So it's like, you know, I don't know. It's hard to describe. That's why it's different. That's why it's hard to describe, but. It's yeah. very unique. You from, born and raised from here? I was born in Seattle. Born in Seattle? How long you was been here? Since like 08, since the Obama era. Oh, okay. Yeah. What brought you down? It used to be cheaper. Mm. Yeah, my family moved down here, and it was much cheaper than Seattle. Okay. Uh, Twelve years ago, fourteen years ago, shit. Mm. <laughs> okay. I feel that. So, any rappers from the city that you uh, inspired you, or not really? Um. No, no, not from down here. No, but I hope to be the one who inspires the. Young niggas coming up after me. Man, for sure, <laughs> sure. And you said Maha, he came out and uh, shot the video, uh, the footage to the show? Yeah, Maha, Maha Minute. Uh, shout out, bro. He came out for the vlog. 
You know, um, what that's like one of the biggest like. bloggers in the in the state, man. What's that like having them behind the scenes with you? It's pretty cool. Like uh, we kind of developed like a relationship over the years, so it's um, you know, it's very normal. It's very well, like, right. you know, one type of shit. Like, and it's always like a plus because you know we do have that relationship. So I know that all right. This is how it's gonna go, and I don't have to worry about X, Y, and Z if I were to like work with somebody else. No, nah, for um, sure, sure. Yeah. And what got you? You say you you've been doing modeling too? Yeah, for like a year. I've been modeling for like a year. What now. made you transition into that? Well, I've always liked clothes, and um, I do want to design in the future, but I'm not focused on that. Not like not. I'm not super focused on that. But like fashion has always been a passion, so I know like. I dress so good or whatever the fuck, but so I just like, yeah, I'll do the modeling and I can get my foot in the door in this fashion industry. You know, I'd love to do, I'd love to be the face of my favorite brands one day. Like Who's some of your favorite brands. Yeah. Like Calvin Klein or a bathing ape fucking rollout or something like that. Like that'd be like I the dream ideal, you know, and then maybe like Dope. having the brand and having those people, some other people model for me, you know? So, man, that, you're definitely doing some different shit, man. Getting started, yeah. Now, nah, for real, so would you leave the music alone cold turkey? Like, oh, no. are you going to stick to the music? No, uh-uh. Oh, yeah, modeling, I also feel like it's going to help me get into, like, the movies. Because I'm meeting more people along the way. So, like, now if I if I need a video, I can know, like, oh, this girl models. Oh, this girl models and acts. Okay, bring them on to the video. And so this... All this shit that I love and like all this entertainment shit is kind of just coming through a little full circle, and uh, the movies too. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. That's like, yeah. I'm a movie head. I've been doing movie reviews. Fuck, I feel like I'm rambling now in the interview, but uh, no, you Gucci. Yeah, I've been doing movie reviews with the homies, uh, Deep Sector. We did Hunger Games and uh, what was the first one? Killers of the Flower Moon. Y'all can go check that one out. Okay. That was, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little range. I'll try to do the Good Burger 2 review coming soon, too. What was your thoughts? You saw it already? Yeah. What was your thoughts? <laughs> I thought it was cool. Other people were mad at it, but it's like, you know, Keenan and Kel, they order. It's like, what are you going to expect, expect for right. real? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> My dog on the back streets, man. How do people could tap in with you? Anybody you want to send some love to, some last-minute shout-outs? Mmm... Yo, shout out Backstreet's. Uh, nah, for sure, sure. I Man. appreciate you coming through and having me. I always you know, love. Um, shout out Sam. Shout out Bam. We're at their studio right now. Man, this is thank y'all. Again, man, we had a badass studio. I was, man, they got it nice in the background, man. Very yeah. professional, too, but my bad. <laughs> no, no, that's cool, yeah. Um, I'm D Woods 2G. You know, D Woods number two, uh, 2G. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm on all platforms, and this is my Instagram. Is it focused? Yes. There we go. <laughs> oh my God, babe. man! What y'all gonna do with him? <laughs> <laughs> just kind of like let him go wild and just put him on display and see who shows up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Backstreet's the code, and that's the. Uh